smile because he's like, okay, you know, we got exactly what the people want. We got one more game, and I think it's still possible that it could be a draw and we get another game, but highly unlikely. Very good chance that this is the final game of the match and a must win for Hikaru Nakamura. And he unbalances the game immediately. He plays e4, e5, but he puts his knight on e7. He tries to get opposite side castling, but he's already mm -hmm. in trouble because you can't castle short. You're going to drop the h6 pawn. So I yep. don't like what he's gotten here early on. The knight can land yeah. on d5. This is a Carlson type of position. It is, but you know what? You got to cut uh, Hikaru some slack here because he needs an imbalanced position, and sometimes you have to just take a bad position straight up and then turn it into a good one later. So at the very least, it's not some sort of equal game that's going to be a draw. And I like what he's doing. He's gotten his king to relative safety. He could strike with f5 and create tension like in the F5. center. That's a very yep. thematic idea in these types of positions, Amon. Instead, he's playing this more defensively, though, with rook c8. Knight d4, Yeah, maybe. and I think Magnus is also... Uh, oh. he's, he's looking like he wants to go for some trades here. Bishop a2, and queen e6 is going to pick up the pawn. What a shot. No way. And now Hikaru with a clearly better position, up a full yep. pawn, and white's king has been breached. Yeah, and no. now with the, with the time getting as low on the match clock, this oh. is it, guys. This game needs to be a win for Hikaru, and he set himself up to do it. But he's got the hardest task still ahead of him on, because if he goes for the queen trade, try winning mm -hmm. that opposite colored bishop end game against Magnus Carlsen. Hikaru says, out of the question. I'm keeping the kings on the board, but Magnus keeps improving his position. Whoa, H5. what a move. He wants, he wants to one eventually. Yep. Oh, I thought he should have played f5 there. That would have been very interesting. But instead, he's just looking to simplify. Okay, a5, rook a1, b6. The pawns are going to go in dark squares. King is going to go to b7. What a move by Hikaru, shutting down White's rook, and Magnus has to bring everything back. I think the no, position Hikaru's is now getting well. worse. Yep, Hikaru's Thanks. playing really well because he's the rooks were too uh, advanced on the king side. Like, what are they doing, Magnus? Bring them back. And King b7, another amazing move. Nakamura says, hey, you want to attack down the A file? No, 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 no. I'm the boss down the A file. Magnus doing yep. everything he can to distract Nakamura. Here comes the queen. Here come the oh, mate threats. No. Dire straits for Magnus. He's on the ropes. I don't even I don't even know what to recommend here. Queen c1, rook a2. It, it's insane. I, I can't find a move. Hikaru is doing it. He's got 15 seconds to find a move. And Magnus closes his eyes and goes all in. And oh Hikaru my goodness, rook, 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 rook a2. Rook a2. He missed it. Oh my goodness, rook takes b6 again. Rook takes b6 and it's over. Rook takes it's b6. It's all over. And he oh missed it. Oh my goodness, he still has something. Maybe rook, rook c7, c7 for a draw. Both rooks are sacrificed. Oh my it's goodness, mate. might be winning by the way, but he only needs a draw as the match clock expires and Hikaru is exasperated. Oh my gosh, Amon. Hikaru had it's forced mate. mate. And it's a draw by agreement. And it's the match. He offers a draw, a gentleman's draw. And I mean, what a finish. It literally comes down to the last game. And look at the smile on even Hikaru's face. These guys are just two titans, two champions going at one another. You cannot script this any better.